Hello, this is uh, Pleasant Grove High School coming at you live from uh, Pleasant Grove High School. Uh, sorry about that. Um, everything's fine, everything's fine. Off to a big lead for the Vikings here. Vikings have a very big lead oh, and a four stock here. That means uh, the Vikings are going up against their next opponent without having to switch. So we are doing crew battles right now, Taylorsville versus Pleasant Grove High School. Right, um, all of the uh, Ken Garf event will be crew battles from now on, I believe, for anyone who's uh, wondering. Mm -hmm. So that basically means that there's four players versus four players. Each have four stocks each, and if you uh, defeat your opponent with stocks left, then you go into the next with that amount of stocks. Um, but as we saw last match, Pleasant Grove clean sweeped uh, Taylorsville's Zero Suit Samus. Um, yeah, that was a pretty clean game. Now we're going to game two, basically game one for us, now that we're actually here. Yeah, um, the stage they took them to, that first game, the stage uh, both parties agreed on, I guess, um, I don't think that was a great choice for uh, Taylorsville there, since uh, it was a smaller stage, which allowed Terry to get in a lot easier. He had less distance to make up, so he really found his openings and definitely capitalized off of them, as we saw with the four stock. Yeah, Zero, Sam Zero Suit Samus really likes his... Uh big open areas to utilize their mobility. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in next game. Yeah, I wonder what stage they're going to go to this time. I think the opponent picks. Uh, or, so, Taylorsville will be picking the stage here, I, I believe. Um, so, we'll see where they go. We don't know what character their next player is gonna pick yet, so. Um, yeah. They'll probably try to counter pick Terry, I'd assume. Mm hmm. Who's good against Terry nowadays? Um. I'm not sure. I think the Sorties are pretty good against Terry. Because the Sorties are kind of good against all the fighting game characters. Um. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm really not sure. I'd assume Pikachu and, like, those types of characters that are super mm -hmm. fast are probably yeah. pretty good as well. Terry is uh, a little bit heavy, so he would be eaten up by those uh, combo combo guys. 
But he does have some uh, a few tricks he can pull out in disadvantage, like cross ups with um, the crack overhead shoot. crack shoot and stuff like that. But if your opponent knows all of your options, they can prepare for all of them and uh, mess you up. Yeah, uh, shield really is like the greatest tool against Terry. I think <laughs> it's really hard for him to yeah. deal with that. Um, Not a huge grab game. We do see a lot of really good Terrys with insane shield pressure, but that's more so at like top level, I think. Yeah, um, shield pressure does require some mechanics to pull <laughs> off this Terry. True. Uh, but we're seeing the King DDD come out well, against Terry. He's got the Shine DDD skin. Yeah. One of the best ones. Got a very intense game with the uh, Sephiroth music going. Oh, going in for a bold move. Oh, and oh, he gets and a shield out. break. Oh, a shield break off of that. Let's see this insane punish. <laughs> Just nice. a forward smash <laughs> into the side B. <laughs> okay. Didn't quite connect. But he's built quite a bit of damage here. Yeah. Shield break to 70%, not bad. Yeah, that's not that's not too shabby. Let's see what uh, Terry can pull out here. Terry can definitely catch up very fast, though. Already oh, yeah. brought him to 70 Ooh, that was gnarly. <laughs> the spike. Yeah, this is not looking great for Taylorsville right now. Yeah. Yeah, Terry's mental has not gone down at all. Yeah. PG, if they're really good at finding these crack shoots. Mm -hmm. Oh. And they're perfectly fine with waiting out the DDD as well. There he goes. Rena's oh. option perfectly to get that up smash. Won't kill yet, though, but he's looking for something right now on the edge. Ooh, doesn't quite find the stock yet, but very close. Ooh, that looks like a mistake oh, from DD. Oh, he doesn't get the full hop, though, and the forward smash will close it out anyway. Very closely down, very smoothly down by Terry. And as we see here, PG's really good at capitalizing off of these openings. He's got the go meter, Piri with go meter. Goes for uh -oh. a grab. Oh, he's he looking for something. The stock here. Oh, but he gets hit with that upbeat. Got a little too greedy with that go meter. So, uh, DDD found his opening. Oh, another uh, unsafe option. Yeah, Taylorsville got a little greedy there themselves and will uh, eat a bit of damage for that, but not much of a punish. Uh oh, another spike. That nair to down air, gotta learn. Specialty. Gotta learn to deal with it. Oh, here comes Taylorsville's the now seven stocks behind, I believe. This is not looking great for them. They yeah. definitely want to take at least a couple more stocks off of PG before going on to their next player, or else they're gonna be a huge deficit. This is true. The uh, PG's lead player really putting in a lot of work here. Bailey does a shield break there, but now it's time for a Terry to edge guard, see what he can do. That was close. And there it is, Ooh, jab, jab, that's, power that's down. not quite going to cl close up the stock. Ooh, I can't speak. Alright, he manages to make it back with excellent DI, but that's going to close up the stock. PG only losing a single stock so far. Taylorsville is trembling in their boots right now <laughs> by this Terry. What are they going to have to pull out in order to uh, defeat this menace of a Terry? A lot of unsafe options coming out from the DDD there. Yeah, I think they were a little panicked. Yeah, Terry just kind of playing it slow, playing it safe. Um, and stuff like that. Yeah, very true. Uh, PG was very good at waiting for their openings there. They weren't going for too much other than that one go meter incident. They were pretty much golden, just waiting. Um, Taylorsville was not as comfortable with the ugh, with the pauses, though. And for that, they ate it. <laughs> Turn it back. All right. It's just me now. I try to make awkward conversation.
Okay, so uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the matchup. Um, that was kind of difficult. So, like, since Didi is so slow in the air, he has a really hard time getting him, uh, getting in himself. While Terry, uh, every time Terry gets in, he gets so much damage off of so little just because he's, you know, one of these combo characters, one of these fighting game characters against DDD who has a massive hurt box. Uh, and DDD is also quite floaty, so it's kind of hard for him to land a lot of the time. Um, you just kind of have to throw out hitboxes and air dodges, um, and it clearly didn't work out super well for him. Uh, we saw Taylorsville go for that risky up beyond stage at one point, and that cost him a stock. Just a lot of stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't quite say that that matchup is in Terry's favor, but I see why Taylorsville lost. They didn't quite adapt fast enough. Uh, if they had just tried to zone out Terry a little more with more go uh, Gordos and shielding and just being more patient, they would have uh, probably made it at least a lot closer. Yeah. So what do you think of the Mario movie? The Mario movie? Yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> the trailer comes out tomorrow, right? Uh, yeah, I've heard stuff about it. Ugh, I saw there was like a leak or something that showed what Mario's face looks like. And yeah. a lot of people were complaining. <laughs> I didn't think yeah, it looked that bad. Classic people. I, I thought it looked pretty alright. I didn't think it was too bad, but a lot of people seem to disagree with me. Yeah, I'm really interested to see uh, what memes are going to come out of it with uh, <laughs> the current cast we have now. Definitely. True. Definitely going to be a playground for memes. I cannot wait to see Jack Black Bowser. It's going to be <laughs> so good. That <laughs> uh, will be pretty funny. Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. I can't believe they're making another Mario movie. Have you seen the last Mario movie? I, I didn't, but I've seen so many clips from it, I've basically seen the whole movie at this point. Yeah. It's so strange. It is very strange. The Goomba, I would not want that Goomba <laughs> bouncing my club, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> they're certainly a lot more terrifying than the canonical Goombas. Uh -huh. They look like they will mess you up. They will not die and one jump on their head. <laughs> their heads are so small for whatever reason. Yeah, they're like <laughs> trying to trying to blend in with the humans. Yeah. Anyways, we got a uh, We got Greninja versus Speaking Terry now. Weird lizard creature. <laughs> creatures. Greninja. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Weird lizard creatures. Alright. Um So as we were saying before, PG has quite a bit of a lead here. So Taylorsville is going to have to find quite a few openings in order to come back from this. Um, uh, these last two players of Taylorsville, they really need to make up for the mistakes of the previous players. Uh, and that's going to be quite a difficult task. They're going to have to play out of their minds here. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, as we're starting out, uh, Terry ooh, hits him with a jab jab wow. power dunk, and that'll finish Greninja at 100. Or 120. Quite a light character, it seems. But now we see Terry just poking and prodding in neutral to find an opening. Seems to be working quite well here as he's uh, got a stock, and uh, Greninja's just taking 77%. Terry's scary, man. Any one mistake can lead to your entire stock just being erased. Yeah, blink and you'll miss it, folks. This Terry is taking stocks like nobody's business. I feel like Terry is just like Diet Kazuya. Just like slightly less deadly Kazuya. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when he has go, it's just Kazuya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Terry a lot more. She's more flashy, but yeah, Kazuya yeah. will mess you up with no remorse. Yeah. Terry's a lot faster too, so uh, it's easier to get in with him, I think. Kazuya won't even say a word. You'll just get your hands <laughs> on you, and you'll be dead. That's it. Yeah, Terry definitely is like a showboat, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes him so fun to watch. He wants you to know how bad you're losing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think uh, Taylorsville is 
knowing that Ooh. very well right now. <laughs> very true. Ooh, hits yeah. him off, but doesn't catch him in the full hitbox. Uh, I've never seen that interaction before. Normally, it just sweeps up entirely. I'm not sure if that was... Ooh. Oh, and that's going to close out the game. Dang, this is not looking great for Taylorsville. I was going to say, Jeez. I don't know if PG fell out of that because of SDI or if it was just luck, but dang, this is not looking great for Taylorsville right now. They managed to take one stock so far. Their last player is going to have to go absolutely insane if they want to come back from this. Yeah. Um, they're going to have to be a hero against this... Uh, Menace is Terry that's taking out all their <laughs> the friends. Villain, the antagonist. Yeah. Uh, the the arena is called We Are Friends, but from the looks of how this game is going, I don't think they are. Yeah. Hopefully the uh, the last player can use the power of friendship and their fallen allies, <laughs> and they'll Very band true. together. They have to put their arms up like uh, when Goku's using the spirit bomb. <laughs> Everyone needs to lend him their energy. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fortunately, this is not an anime, so... <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, we'll be able to 4v1 in this next game. Yeah, I, I think that's a fair prediction, <laughs> based off of what we've seen so far. But um, if, uh, if they get, like, a character who's a good matchup against Terry and manage to close it out, then they could ride the momentum. I could see it happening. I mean, I've seen mm -hmm. crazier things... Or not really crazier, but I've seen as crazy things happen in crew battles before. Yeah, you ever so. you ever you ever watch MK Leo? <laughs> <laughs> that man is a menace. I feel like with all the hype he gets, every every single time the caster's always like, Oh, don't go to game three with Leo. But <laughs> it's not a hundred percent, you know. Yeah. The the they, game four they always, Leo myth. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They always uh, hype him up but I don't know. He's pretty good, but... Yeah. He's definitely... I mean, recently we've seen him do the worst he's ever done. Which is yeah. still 8th place at a major, which is amazing <laughs> still. But, like, for Leo, it's it's shocking. Yeah. Seen a lot of... Uh, a lot of people coming and going in uh, Smash yeah. uh, Pro recently. I've heard a lot of talk this year about a new era of Ultimate, and I think that's very true. We really are in, like, a new era. What do you mean by that? Like, just a lot of the old players are kind of doing worse or have just quit the game. I mean, obviously, most of them are still around, but we have so many new talent uh, that just seem to have all come around at the exact same time, especially after all the quarantine stuff ended. Um, it's, it's super interesting. I'm glad I get to see it happen. And this is not looking good for Taylor's fault <laughs> so far. <laughs> yeah, so far we got Captain Falcon versus... Uh Terry, two of the most flashy members of the Smash roster. Um, battle Very now. True. And a battle of pizzazz. Uh, but now Terry's got <laughs> Captain Falcon off the edge. How, ooh, mispunishes that. This and is the fashion contest. <laughs> for real, we got two very good looking men going at it. This is not looking great for Taylorsville. Um, PG has just been kind of keeping them at disadvantage this whole time. They're not even doing much of the signature sort of Terry stuff. Oh, man, just to close up the stock. Uh, they're just, as I was saying, they're just kind of playing neutral really well and keeping, um, keeping their advantage state for so long. Yeah. Like I was saying, uh, Terry doesn't, you don't see Terry with the platform game, but uh, there it was, mixing up the uh, Captain Falcon. Guess he didn't see it coming, because uh, uh, he closed out the stock with an up smash right there. Yeah, I mean, that can be a tricky situation as well, um, because if he jumped, he could have covered him with an up B if he read it. Uh, so that's just a really scary situation for Falcon to be in, and PG manages to close out another stock with that side B. Very well done. Terry's just reading their options very well and uh, punishing them when they can. Only taking about 60% so far. Yeah, Captain Falcon is also having a hard time punishing the Terry when they make a mistake. It seems the mental may be a bit down, Taylorsville said. Yeah, I mean, how could it not be with what has happened so far? <laughs> okay, but the side V and the, uh, the down air, you don't see that every day. Oh, wow. Go to your major, you don't see that. <laughs> this, is, this is exclusive to the high school. Ooh, PG taking out another stock. This isn't great for Taylorsville. 
But I believe in the Falcon hype. I believe they can pull something out here. <laughs> if we believe hard enough, the power of friendship. Oh, the parry doesn't manage to find quite. Uh, doesn't really find a punish at all. Ooh, Ooh PG throwing out quite a lot here, just wanting to close up the game, getting a, a little reckless. Mm -hmm. See, this is Captain Falcon's chance. Oh, he goes for the forward smash. Oh, shiver me timbers! Oh, he gets caught by his little toes. That, and that's gonna go to PG. That uh, power geyser will catch you out. An unfortunate crushing loss for Taylorsville, but I'm sure they'll still have chances to bounce back later on um, mm -hmm. in different games. But wow, man, PG, that Terry player just went crazy. Mm -hmm. guys unless we want to commentate Barcy as well if they haven't started yeah all right so that will be it for the games today um we'll be live every wednesday for smash bros at 4 p.m thursdays for rocket league um either here uh for any club to come and stream on the ken garf channel we'll also be live on cyber vikings as well uh, for Pleasant Grove, if you want to go check us out, Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 4 p.m. And as well, we'll be doing Mario Kart Tuesdays, Smash Wednesdays, and Rocket League Thursdays. So, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys later.